Happy New Capenna Day, everybody. Hello, welcome back, POA. So I've got, I uh, usually just do a couple of the pre-release kits, but I'm gonna do all five. I, I uh, so there was a person there from Wizards of the Coast, and that person from Wizards of the Coast was standing there, and I looked over and I didn't really realize, because I oh, admit I didn't look, that they were doing this, and I first thing I said is, is this like Strixhaven? And like, it doesn't actually matter which one you pick. And then the person from Wizards is like, oh no, no, it matters, seated, packed, blah, blah, blah. We'll be the judge of that one. But regardless of that, let's have some fun. I don't even know what I want to open first, so I'm just going to kind of stack them up and open some pre-release kits, huh? <clears throat> All right, here we go. So we got a handy-dandy little zipper this time. So I guess they made it like the bundle boxes. Okay, still got that same interior, and they got a whole bunch of tokens all around it, plus one counters. Okay, that's fun. I'm going to have a lot of mess today to clean up. All right, then we got a die. So, yeah, it's pretty traditional blue marble-ish die. And we rolled a 15. So if I have any modifiers, it's a good roll. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's right. Oh, I totally forgot. And pre-release card. You will go on the side. Um, arena code. You know what? I have stopped playing arena. Um, I don't like... A lot of stuff, I don't think they're improving it. So, first come, first serve. Pause the video, do whatever you want to do. Okay. <clears throat> but, let's get started here. So, we got six, five? Five. Why is, is it five packs now? So, they gave me like two extra set packs per, per one. So, I guess that's what it's supposed to be. Okay. Let's do the draft packs first. Didn't they always do six packs? Did they get cheap on us? <laughs> Ooh, wait, what company am I talking about here? No, I'm just kidding. I love wizards. Don't hate, don't hate me, wizards. For my snark. Okay, darling of the masses. I'm not going to read all these today. Um, I have not spent enough time due to work studying the set thoroughly. So some of these cards are new to me, but I'm not going to. So is that Zia Tora's Envoy? All right, so which group is that again? Is that this group? Is that the Riveteers? It is. All right, so that's a Riveteer rare. rare. So that like that's the kind of thing that should be in here, right? Wait a minute, were they all? No, no, we got... We got Obscura Storefront. Okay. So that's the question, like, are these randomly chosen if they're always gonna have Riveteer Rares inside of them. Waterfront. Ooh. So that's the showcase, huh? Kind of cool. I do dig the Art Deco style, I'll admit. Scheming Fence. Okay, so you are not the right colors. You are Obscura. Seated pack. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So now we're getting uh, token counters like Ikoria again. That's actually pretty handy, I'll admit. So these are the full art lands, huh? So, of course, when everything is special, nothing is special, and Kamigawa did just have possibly the greatest full art lands ever created. But I'll admit I like these because, once again, I like Art Deco. So, that helps to like the style. <clears throat> but the Kamigawa ones are still... They're goat. They're goat until the next goat. So, for now, they're goat. Oops, what am I doing? Putting on commons over there. I am sorry, folks. Brokers Ascendancy. You are definitely Bant slash uh, Brokers. <laughs> People were hating on this card. It does seem kind of slow. Oh! So that... Okay, that's not Gilded Foil, right? So that's just regular foil. So that'll be interesting. So I'm going to have some collector boxes, too, that'll be coming up very soon. So I meant to put this one aside so we can compare them. So that's the regular foil showcase version. I have to admit, it's pretty sharp. And if that's sharp, man, what are the... Okay, hold on. The card quality of this feels fantastic. I wonder if that's just going to be a me thing in these. That Are these Japanese? Uh, Belgium. Huh, okay. Made in Belgium. Rocco, Cabaretti, Caterer, Rock, sounds 
Perfect name for this set. Grizzly Sigil, Involuntary Employment, Widespread Thievery with that hideaway mechanic. We got five of these to go through? Okay, maybe I should have thought about that. Maestro's Charm, which is a cool card. An offer you cannot refuse. This card's awesome. Like that uncommon, Riveteers, Requisitioner. Even the score, so that is our first mythic. The spell costs three blue less to cast if your opponent has drawn, and it's an instant, which is, that's pretty awesome actually, has drawn four, this is a commander card. That's all this is. This is not a constructed card. This is a commander card, and frankly, it's pretty good. Okay, that's going to be interesting. Oh, wow. Seriously, wow. Okay, you're still not the greatest mountain of all time. That still belongs to Kamigawa. But that's pretty sweet. That's... I have to admit right now, I hope these are worth nothing. Because <clears throat> then I will get them all. Oh, we got a Japanese! Yay! So we got Rafine. Jeez! It's kind of like they took, uh, yeah, they, they kind of like took the idea with the, with the Innistrad ones and just slapped in some Art Deco art, and it's way better. Those are foil are probably going to be sharp. Okay, so commons, once again, not going through those. Angel, Scrivener, I don't even know. Sigil, Rackish Revelers, that's, that's a common card. Okay, so you have un commons, uncommons, then showcase card, gotcha. Another showcase card, Nimble Larcenist. Hey, Rafine! Scheming Seer. Cool. Our second mythic. Okay, extract the truth. Oh! So, this is the change to the list. Where they actually put cards from past secret layers in that spot. That's a good change. That's a really cool change. Oh, that's cool. All right, I dig it. Somebody already joked, though, of course, that, oh, great, secret layers are not going to be worth nothing. We can't have it all, folks. We can't have it all. Everything's in balance. Spara's Adjudicators. And another mythic, we got Falco Spara. Wow. In uh, the uh, showcase. Cool. So that is the broker's leader, right? And then we got Structural Assault. And a. Oh, that's so cool. Cabaretti Charm in the showcase foil. Yep, I'm definitely going to have to compare these. I'm going to put actually, actually, I'm going to put that one aside. That's sharp. Okay, let's do number two. We're going to do uh, Obscura. Yeah. So, oh, wait, wait, wait. Mast? Really? Okay, where's the stamp card? That was not stamped, was it? No, it wasn't. Okay, what is it? Oh, this is the seeded pack. This is what they were talking... Okay, so it is real. All right, the guy didn't lie to me. Good, good. It wasn't a whole bunch of bull crap. So that's why there was five packs inside there, because then there's this secondary pack that's just for... The, the house, or whatever you want to call them. Faction, I don't, I don't know. So it's cards that specifically go with this setup. All right, that's, that's, that's a pretty cool change. Riveteer's Charm, cool. And we got another Envoy. And we got Obscura Interceptor Foil. All right, so, oh, and that's the pre, okay, that's the pre-release card. So it's got the little stamp on there. All right. <clears throat> Getting this all figured out, folks. It's kind of what we do on this channel, right? For I know there are people that do like my channel because of that. It's like, let's let's get all this laid out properly, yeah? Let's not just bundle up everything. Not making fun of people for doing that. It sure is easier. <laughs> okay. Plus, I kind of built my own camera display setup. <clears throat> which helps with, with it all. So, there is that. All right, so second arena code. You know what? I'm gonna that's, I'm gonna get two to the public, and I'm gonna leave the rest for my patrons. That's what we're gonna do here. 
Just, just, just to flash it up there again, just in case anybody missed it, you can pause the video. Cool. Okay. Moving on. So I don't really, that, you know what the really nice change about that is now I no longer care about hiding that. I can slap that aside. So we've got another five, then I'm taking the other two of these because this is what they were doing with their, with their bundles. Not really a bad deal, actually. It was like 30 bucks with, you know, two of those and essentially six of those. So yeah, I'm not, not regretting this at all. This is cool. All right, Hypnotic Grifter, Sizzling Soloist, Obscura Charm, cool. And the Cabaretti Ascendancy, so getting them Ascendancies. I'm gonna need room for rares, I guess, since I don't have my normal setup going on here. Nothing. Nope, oh, nope, wait on the setbacks. Move things there. I have to say, I'm rather, I feel like I'm more excited about opening a set box of this for the list change than I am about opening the collector boxes. I hope that doesn't sound terrible. Citizen's Crowbar and, ah, yes! All right, Cabaretti Charm, I don't know where you gotta go, but you can't stay here. Uh, I'll deal with you later, okay. That is our first of the Tricycle Lands slash Triomes, and that is the Bant one. So we got Spara's Headquarters, and I'm going to have to... This set's going to force me to remember the names of all the shards. I did not play at that time. I do not know the names of all the shards. Um, so I'm going to have to get familiar with them. So pardon me when I butcher them as I try to get this sizzled into my brain. But that one I know is Bant because... I'm kind of an OG Bant player before Bant was ever even thought of as a concept, ever. <clears throat> Park Heights Pegasus. Simic and Bant, they're my jam. And, and Azorius on the side, of course. Come on. Hey, Jaxus, that's a cool card. I I have big hopes for this card. So we will see what it does. I think this thing is a beast. Now I'm going to put it with... Uh, I can't put it with the Mythic Pile, can it? This is stupid. I've screwed up. It's going with the Mythic Pile. And we got Rego. So we got a Foil Rare, Streetwise Mentor. I've seen that one before. I dig it. It's totally a weenie commander. Okay, silencer, stockpile, swooping protector, ledger shredder. <laughs> I have to say the card names are great. They really are. <laughs> it's really, really good. I'm going to run out of space here, aren't I? I am. All right, and then we got, yep, Awesome Island. Okay, two set packs. This video is going to go on a little longer, isn't it? Sure is. Sure is. You're going to answer your own questions the whole time, aren't you? Sure am. Sure am. You're going to repeat everything you say, aren't you? All right, it's got old. Okay, Obscura Charm. Kit Kano, or Kit Kento. Kit Kento. Mayhem Diva. So that is a cat that goes with... Which group is that? Is that Cabaretti? That is the Cabaretti. Cool. So that is a Mythic from uh, the Commander spot. And we got Shadow of Mort... Ooh. Wait. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. That isn't the same foiling. Is this Gilded Foil? Wait, you can get those out of the set packs? I can get these out of set packs. Why the hell am I opening collector boxes? It, that, it, that is different, right? Folks, this is the first time opening this product, so if it takes a little longer, I do greatly apologize. I usually try, for the most part, try to make uh, videos, you know, consumable uh, within a moderate amount of time. I feel like I'm just going to dramatically fail at that as this video, but that's different. That's way different. Yeah, it's, it's, you can even feel it. It's, it's, 
that's 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 really cool. I, I don't I don't even think the camera's doing it justice, which I already heard Cracking Packs MTG say. Uh, it's not the camera is not doing this justice. This is amazing. Jeez. Okay. Well, we can't sit there and stare at cards all day, can we? I don't know where I'm going to put you. Mythics. Okay. Jeez. That is... That is that is spicy, folks. That's spicy. I don't, I don't have any skin in this game. I don't care one way or the other if a set is popular or is not popular. But that treatment is so cool. Sanguine Spy, and that is... Okay, that's the regular foil. All right. Oh, my God. This is going to be like uh, the difference of the foil etched uh, versus the non-foil in uh, the Japanese alt art strict saving cards. People are going to screw this up like crazy. Oh, my. That's yeah, going to be brutal. Okay. I mean, they clearly look different, but people are going to just not realize or be in a hurry to do something, if you will, and just post it. And Or some people may be after than bad intentions of trying to take advantage of somebody. Not everybody is. Some people are just lazy. Or some people just flat out miss it. Obscura Ascendancy. And we got a Tenacious Underdog. With the Blitz mechanic is back. I'm going to put the list cards at the end because I don't think I'm going to get that many of them out of 10 packs. Okay. Maestros. Maestros. So what is everybody's potential favorite? Are we calling them a house? We're not calling them a guild. Well, they are, they are a bit guild-like. Crime family? Syndicate? What are we doing? So we have another black dice. That's two. Oh, yeah. I got junk for days. All right. I am, again, this other arena code I'm saving for the patrons. So. Okay. So we got two of those. Two more of these. This video is going to be a 30-minute video. And I'm going to have a mess to clean up afterwards. But this is fun, I have to admit. I'm really, really enjoying this video. I hope everybody else is too. If not, you've already shut it off. So, <clears throat> Public Enemy. Cabaretti Charm. Sweet. Big Charms. Okay, Clubber. Vivian! Nice! Nice! And, whew. Yeah, that's cool. I'm doing way better on Mythic Amount than I ever do on these on these things. I have a tendency to get slaughtered uh, in these pre-release packs. And the only time I ever actually did good, did well, sorry, it's not good, it's well, um, was my first two Modern Horizons ones, because really my first three. Um, so I pulled a um, fetch land uh, for the, for the uh, stamped card, or the, the pre-release card. Broker's Charm, Cut of the Profits, very appropriately named. And sure enough, I am running out of rare space. I'm going to have to start. And we got the agent. Voice of Vermin. Park Heights Pegasus for a second time. I don't know why I always do that with draft packs. Looking at the back like there's supposed to be something there like a set box. But there never is. And then I'm sad. Oops. I cut this way too early. Okay. There we go. Crew Captain Brazen Upstart. Hey, Giada! That's a cool card. All right, so that's the regular version. I've only ever seen the showcase so far as far as artwork goes. That's cool. I think that's really interesting that essentially they're turning angels into um, a white powdery substance used for trade. <clears throat> I don't get demonetized for saying that, do I? Because <laughs> that is what they're doing. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not making it up here. That is what's happening inside of inside of the story of New Capenna here. They're on the shards. They take the demons have taken over. There's lots of different types of demons, and they're essentially have all of the angels in stasis, and they're turning them into a white powder substance called Halo. 
right? Am I, am I, is somebody have a better errant street artist? Oh, huh. okay. Wait, copy target spell you control that wasn't cast. Wait, what? So you're fully breakable with some neat mechanics, but if they just made it any spell, then this thing would be stupid. Got it. Makes sense. Hey, foil. All right. Maestros is a uh, ascendancy. Maestros. Maestros. Maestro. Maestros. Maestro. I don't know. Somebody will correct me. Yeah, that's that's great. Love the treatment. And we've got another Obscura Ascendancy. <laughs> oh my god, these setbacks are ridiculous. Okay, so that is my perfect pull right there in a nutshell. That is a Japanese printed foil borderless Spara's headquarters. Oh, I couldn't have asked for a card I would much rather have. Holy crap. Okay. Whew. Ah. Oh my god. Well, that's that's two so far. Okay. It's two. I don't always keep foils because I, I don't necessarily love playing with foils, but that one stays with me. Waterfront District. Obscura Charm. That's another cool card. Professional Face Breaker. Like it. All right, so that is it. We're down to we're down to two. We're down to the brokers now, which right now I think people are speculating this is going to be the weakest of the houses because it's Bant. Okay, once again, I'm going to put the arena code on the side for patrons. Okay, and we got a third black guy. You know what, let's just open this pack first. Oh wait, I didn't open the one for the last one. Ah, jeez. There's too much stuff here, folks. This is gonna be a 30 minute video, I'm sorry. I apologize now. Cormella. Maestro's Diabolist. And widespread thievery. Okay. All right, you know what, let's just open this one first. So this is the Bant one, and not going commons. Sleep with the fishes. Broker's charm, cool. Soul of emancipation, and a. Okay, so this was incorrect. So this was a broker's. Okay, every other card in there was broker's, but then the foil stamped card was not. Interesting. So it's Maestro's Ascendancy for the third time? Yep, third time. Second time? I don't know. Whatever. Packs. Open. No time, folks. We gotta get through this. Although I'm having fun. Falco Spara Pact Weaver. So that is... Okay, so that's the regular version of it. Mythic. It's a mythic. Still can't do it. Do the voice. Okay. I'm just making room, folks. I apologize. Plus, straightening things because while I'm not OCD, everybody, uh, many people have a little bit of OCD. <clears throat> Voidrend! Love it. That's a pool I like to see. That is an awesome land. Okay. Don't really know if it qualifies as a land, per se, but... Whatever. Nimble Larsenist. We got some shoes. Very appropriate. Tainted Indulgence. Oh, hey, Showcase Giada. Ooh. It's almost all the way across. Yeah, it's, that's, I like the tiny border on there on the outside. That looks good. Oh, I think this set is... Potentially low-key fun, really fun. And I feel like people were kind of down on it and they're slowly warming up to it. Our third Giada. 
All right, I'm going to collect a play set of Giadas here. And last pack of the draft packs. Decoy, whack. Metropolis Angel, and yep, uh, Maestro's, Maestro's Ascendancy for the 15th time in the video. That's okay, that's okay. Hey, can we get, uh, can we get one more uh, Tricycle Land? And and there's gonna be a lot of a lot of that type of stuff in, in terms of they're not triomes, folks, because we're not in Ikoria and that triome is a tri biome, and it was an area. There were areas of Ikoria. We're not in Ikoria, so they're not triomes anymore. They're tricycle lands because they're cycle lands and they have three colors. But we got so used to calling them triomes. I don't know. What way do we go? We we all have to decide as a community. The whole community. We have to decide this. Wow. Crap ton of showcases in this particular pack. Unlicensed hearse. And nothing. And I am already running out of room again. And my table's running out of room from all the trash. Jesus. Trash everywhere. Yes, you'd think after all these videos I would learn to, I don't know, put a trash can next to me. But that requires foresight. And usually when I want to film, I want to go film. Rotary's Charm. We got Mari, the Killing Quill Commander card. Arcane Bombardment. Mythic. Okay, it's fun. Patch up. All right, and last one, we got the Cabaretti. Cabaretti just, it's, that's such an appropriate name. And we got our third, fourth, sorry, black die. Okay, we're gonna code on the side, sorry folks. Okay, first let's do this, and then, then we'll do this, then we'll do that, and then we'll, we'll do stuff, and then we'll open packs, and then we'll be done. So I am gonna post this literally on the same day I'm filming it. It is the first day of pre-release. Ceremonial Groundbreaker. <laughs> Gotta go bury them. Those feel like the wrong colors for that. Okay, Cabaretti Charm. Gala Greeters. The regular version of the promo. All right, Fleet Foot Dancer. Huh? That, that, see, that one did go with the Cabar Cabaretti. Cabaretti? Cabaretti. Crew Captain, Public Enemy, Knight Clubber. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, see, this card is interesting. So, green doesn't need help necessarily getting more mana. This card would probably be insane in red or black, but at the same time, being in green allows you to take advantage of green's ramp to get a whole bunch of lands out there to make an absolute crap ton of tokens. Treasure tokens. That's a fascinating card. And a fascinating pick of color to run it in. Yep, some are already complaining a little bit that this set's a little treasure heavy. But again, that does kind of fit the theme, right? Ginny Faye! Check me here a second. So we got ourselves the uh, Cat Lord. That's Spar's headquarters. That's that's ridiculous. I am floored by that pool. Another Gala Greeters, because we're all not going to get enough of those. Okay. Pickpocket. Maestro's Charm, come on, come on, come on, Rabble Rousing. There's uh, some people already kind of eyeing up this card, so might be one to keep an eye on. Okay, last draft pack, 
Then we got two more set boosters, and we are we did not we got past 30 minutes. Wow, wow, it's been a long time since I've made a video that cracks 30 minutes. Long time. And we got Maestro's Diabolist in the showcase. Okay, and we got the two uh, set packs. I'll quickly go through these, and then we can call the video a day. Oh, it's our first foil one. Whew. Yep. I dig it. I dig it. Then we got Broker's Charm. Cabaretti Charm. Obscura Charm. Okay, we didn't get four in a row. Brazen Upstart. Tenuous Truce from Commander. Oh my god! Sheesh! Obnixilis the Adversary. How much did all these $150 after tax? This, this, this feels really good. This, this felt like the best purchase I've made in Magic the Gathering ever. <clears throat> Obnixilis the Adversary in the Borderless. And then another Mythic, because what the hell. We got ourselves Angel of Suffering. What? What is this, folks? What is this? Okay, I was away for, for work for a little bit, and I know uh, Joey Moss posted some set boxes that were nuts, but I didn't get a chance to watch them yet. Was this what was happening? If so, is this like a first Japanese print run problem, and we should be going and like buying? Because that's what these were. And then I asked them how much a full box was, and they were like uh, $145. And I was like, no, 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 no. Should I go back and buy them? Seriously. What the hell? Seriously, oh, like, what are we on? The last one, I think like seven of the nine packs I've opened have been nuts. Or have been good to nuts, I should say. That one was nuts. All right, last pack, everybody. Whew, this is a video. Thank you, New Capenna. <laughs> Making the first one spicy. At least it feels spicy. We'll see if it is. Angus, the Demon's Lash. Agnes, sorry, Agnes. There's no N there. It's Og, the Nis. Murder. So murder is back. And Elmar Uvenwald Informant. So another secret lair reprint. Wait a minute. That's not what this is, is it? No, these are, okay. <clears throat> I was started reading that one. I'm like, I know what card that is. These are, these are the, uh, the, 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 what do they call them? The, the Stranger Things um, in the regular versions. They're not secret layer cards per se. These, these are putting the uh, Stranger Things in an actual regular card in a set. Like they said they were going to do. That they still need to do with the Walking Dead cards. Oh, cool. Good to know. So that's what those are. All right. Somebody had wrote that they were just, you know, reprints of secret layer cards. Not quite. Not quite. Kind of. <clears throat> All right. That's a video. Um, obviously, there's going to be a whole lot of this posted, so be ready. Um, I'm not going to go quite as hard as I did with Kamigoa. Um, I just don't think the, the, the general desire is as high as it is for Kamigoa, even with myself. Kamigawa was extraordinarily excited. I was super pumped. So, um, but honestly, I feel better about this set after this opening. That feels weird to say. Well, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed it. We're, uh, we're around 34 minutes now, and that's...